dear students welcome back to our video classes uh, today let us discuss the continuation of chapter solution i hope i can finish the chapter with this video and uh, tomorrow with another video i will come up with the numericals okay welcome to the class once again today i am going to discuss uh, depression in freezing point you know depression in freezing point is a colligative property we already discussed what are colligative properties what are the different types of colligative properties etc etc colligative properties are the properties of dilute solutions and that properties those properties depends upon number of solute particles only not the nature of solute particles and we have four different types of colligative properties they are dip relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure okay we can move on to depression in freezing point we know what is freezing point sometimes we refer freezing point as melting point both are same value same idea but the name indicates the the reference through different direction suppose you have a solid that wanted to make liquid melting that happens in a temperature that is called the melting point or you have a liquid water you want to make it solid that's called a freezing point in the case of ice which melt to water that is liquid water solid water solid liquid sorry liquid, solid liquid that is ice melt to liquid that melting point is 0 degree you have liquid water you want to make it ice at room temperature sorry at one uh, time uh, that is freezing point that's also 0 degree centigrade so for 0 degree the raw degree for water is ice to liquid or liquid to ice okay the word ice to liquid this is melting point liquid to water this is freezing point the for zero degree is freezing point as well as melting point okay now freezing point or melting point is not uh, colligative properties the colligative property is depression in freezing point now what is freezing point there is a question what is freezing point freezing point it is the temperature it is the temperature let me check video yes it is a temperature at which at which vapor pressure of liquid phase or solution is equal to vapor pressure of solid solid okay now the freezing point is a temperature at which vapor pressure of liquid and solid are equal how it is possible we can graphically express okay it is a temperature at which both have same uh, vapor pressure that is at 0 degree centigrade uh, at 0 degree centigrade the liquid water and ice have same vapor pressure therefore they are in equilibrium they are in, they coexist in equilibrium fine uh, i will tell you if you keep the temperature 0 degree centigrade could you convert entire water into solid no 
Suppose you have a glass of water, you have put in the freezer, very nice freezer, you have uh, set the temperature 0 degree centigrade. Would you convert all liquid into water, ice? No. Uh, there will be water and ice coexist. They are in equilibrium. Why they are coexisting? Because solid and liquid uh, have same vapor pressure. But zero degree is the temperature at which solidification starts. Solidify that doesn't mean that all at zero degree and their water of a system will be converted into solid. If you want to convert and their water into solid form, obviously uh, you have to uh, decrease the temperature further. Okay. Okay, you keep this. Uh, Freezing point is a temperature at which uh, uh, vapor pressure uh, of liquid is equal to vapor pressure of solid. Okay. Now we need following points. Freezing point is the uh, vapor pressure of liquid is equal to vapor pressure of uh, solid. Second point, vapor uh, vapor pressure vapor pressure of solvent always greater than vapor pressure of Solution containing containing non uh, volatile uh, solute. Non volatile solute. At any given at any temperature. At any uh, temperature. Okay. Yes. Now uh, freezing point of solvent is greater than freezing point of solution containing non volatile solute that is pure water 0 degree centigrade pure H2 0 degree centigrade H2 plus sodium chloride solution it is uh, freezing point is less than 0 degree centigrade maybe minus 1 degree centigrade I just give an example minus 1 degree centigrade this is called a depression in freezing point this called the depression in freezing point. Now for delta P, delta Tf, that is depression in, uh, depression in freezing point. What is that? Delta Tf is equal to uh, Tf dash minus Tm. What is Tf dash? Tf dash is called the freezing point of solution. Tf is equal to uh, freezing point of pure solvent. This is always greater than this, therefore negative value will be there. Uh, that negative sign has no meaning here. Don't worry about it. You just neglect that negative sign. Uh, we, we are focusing only on um, what, what do we call uh, this magnitude. Normally if you take the water, it will be less negative. This will be like that, uh, minus 1. Suppose it is minus 1, minus of 0. Like that. Therefore, it is value is minus one. The, the, therefore, you neglect this uh, minus one. Therefore, your value is one. One. Depression increasing point. Yes. Now we can graphically express this. So, let's we see how I draw this in graphically. Suppose you have a, a x and y axis. This is temperature. This is vapor pressure. Vapor pressure. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, I draw a graph like this. Uh, okay. What is this? The temperature increases. Vapor pressure increases. Uh, that is uh, that is the case for every state, whether it is solid and liquid. Uh, when temperature increases, vapor pressure. I, I draw this is vapor pressure of pure solvent. Pure solvent in solid state. Solid state. This is this graph, suppose. This green, uh, blue graph represents uh, Vapor pressure curve for uh, solid solvent. Solid solvent. It increases. Suppose it starts uh, this point. Starts melting. Melting. 
Okay. Now from there onwards, when temperature increases, that becomes liquid. Liquid. For the in the case of liquid also, vapor pressure increases. Uh, vapor pressure increases. We can draw like this. Little fat and like this. Okay. This is uh, uh, what I do. This is called a uh, freezing point. TF, freezing point of pure solvent. From that onwards, uh, vapor pressure again increases when temperature increases, but it is just like this. You know why? Because this is liquid. Liquid. Pure liquid. Pure liquid solvent. Solvent. Uh, for the graph, we'll have a different. Rate. Yes. Now, suppose this solvent prepare a solution, a solution that is H2O plus sodium chloride. In the case of a solution, its vapor pressure will be always less than that of uh, that of uh, temperature, that of pure solvent. When you compare to pure solvent, its graph is always less than. It is always less than. Now suppose it meet here, meet here, but very carefully, when a salt solution, sodium chloride solution of water freezes, you will get an ice. Does that ice, ice contain sodium chloride? Do you get my question? You have a salt solution, you keep, uh, you freeze it, you got the ice. Does that ice contain salt? That were the part of solution. Never, never, never. Sodium chloride will not be there. You taste it. You do the experiment today itself. Take a cup of uh, very tasty uh, concentrated salt solution that put in your freezer, refrigerator freezer. Then make it ice. Make it ice. Then you uh, a cube, ice cube. Then you taste that cube, whether it is salty or not. And I, I tell you it is not salty. Because that sodium chloride will not be the part of solid solvent. Okay, therefore you, from here onwards, this is a solution, this is a liquid solution. It meets here, meets here. Why it meets here? Because this is the vapor pressure of vapor pressure curve of solid water, ice. Vapor pressure curve of solid water. You have no separate salt solution solid. That's not possible. If you keep the, if you freeze the salt solution, only water will become ice. Only water become the solid. That a point is meeting here. Therefore, solution starts to freeze here. This is a temperature curve. Tf dash. That is Tf dash is less than Tf. If it is 0 degree centigrade or suppose it is 273 Kelvin. Uh, I will tell this is 269 Kelvin. In Kelvin. If it is 0 degree centigrade, 0 degree centigrade, it will be minus 4 degree centigrade. Therefore, your, uh, this is the uh, solution. This is the vapor pressure curve of the solution. That solution curve meets pure solid uh, solvent curve only at this temperature. And this is the point, this is the point where where the solution and pure solvent or ice have same vapor pressure therefore this is the freezing point of that solution and this is the delta tf delta tf as usual delta tf is equal to kf into em delta tf is equal to kf into wb emp wa into 1000 what is kf that is called the cryoscopic constant. 
Cryoscopic constant or molal depression constant. Molal, molal depression uh, constant. Molal depression constant. Okay. Yes. Uh, same equation uh, in the case of elevation in boiling point. Molal depression constant. Now, uh, in summary, a solution a water will become a solvent will become freeze at lower temperature if you dissolve something there okay i will tell you some example in the uh, uh, cold countries there will be very low temperature and there is a chance of freezing of petrol in the vehicle fuel tank there is a chance if, because if you take petrol only, it's a pure solvent. Therefore, in those countries, they will mix petrol with some other components, such as ethylene glycol, though that, so that you will get a solution. That solution, petrol solution, still is fuel, not harmful for our vehicle, uh, not affect our uh, mileage and anything else. Therefore, they, they, they will use it. They use the solution. Similarly, in Kashmir or uh, somewhere, the places such uh, like where in cold period, cold and season, in, 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 in cold season, uh, there will be huge uh, snowfall on the road. Huge snowfall. Therefore, to clear the road, they will spread, they will spread uh, some salt like the sugar uh, or sodium chloride or something like that so that. Uh, that uh, so, uh, uh, snow and salt will form immediately solution. That solution has no freezing point. Therefore, they start to melting or forming a solution. Okay, because that temperature may not be at a good temperature for the, may not be a freezing temperature. Uh, the temperature at, uh, in that Kashmir at that time may not be the freezing temperature for snow. A solution. Therefore, snow start to melt. Automatically, road will be cleared. Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, the points about uh, the depression in freezing point. Okay, uh, students, let us go to next colligative properties. That is osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure. Osmotic. Fine. Uh, we have so, so far we have discussed vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is something like different idea where is the pressure upon a solution uh, produced by vapors of the solvent or pressure upon any liquid solvent produced by vapors of that uh, liquid. Osmotic pressure is a different idea. Here, uh, before going to osmotic pressure, you have to learn what is osmosis. You learn this in biology. Okay, osmosis. Uh, osmosis is quite natural phenomena. It happens in our daily life. Okay, uh, osmosis happens through membrane. A membrane. Membrane. Uh, suppose you have a very dilute solution here or a pure solvent pure solvent okay take a pure solvent here yes yes and a concentrate concentrated concentrated solution here and this is suppose a membrane. Membrane means skin is the best suitable membrane. This is called semi-permeable membrane. Skin. You know, from here, solvent will move from here. This is called osmosis. Osmosis. Solvent will move from dilute solution or from pure solvent part to the concentrated solution. 
to the concentrated solution. That is called osmosis. In botany, you learn that solvent is moving from higher potential to lower potential. That's also correct. Higher potential means higher, uh, higher amount of water. Solvent is moving from, from a region of higher potential. What is the meaning of higher potential? The region where higher amount of water is present. To the lower potential, that is to the region of lower amount of water. That's correct. Dilute solution means solvent is more, solute is less. That is why we call it is dilute solution. Concentrated solution means solute is more or solvent is less. Therefore, solvent is moving from here to here. Yes, now that is all osmotic pressure. Now we are, keep, we are going to discuss what, what is osmotic pressure. Now, suppose this is a case. Suppose I am going to apply a pressure here. Suppose these two are two balloon-like, balloon-like, pressable, two balloon-like com uh, compartment. Imagine two balloon-like. This, these are two balloon. This, but these two balloon part is separated by a semi-permeable membrane. That's possible. You, you have a uh, tube. Suppose you have a cycle tube or a car tube or lorry tube. You, you, one, uh, one, one part. You, you cut that two tubes. Then join with the semi-permeable. A semi fit a semi permeable membrane here. That's possible. Yes. Now this side of the tube is concent dilute solution. This side of the tube is um, concentrated solution. So I can start moving from here to here. Okay. Now I press this side. Concentrated solution part of the tube is pressed, compressed. So then there will be a pressure increased. Because of that pressure. Suppose there is a lot of water, solvent is moving. Because that pressure, the movement of water is decreased, 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 decreased. Now, imagine, just stops. No movement of water. Because of that pressure. That pressure is called the osmotic pressure. What is osmotic pressure? It is the pressure pressure applied along the concentrated solution side around the concentrated solution side to stop osmosis to stop osmosis to stop osmosis okay it is the pressure applied along the concentrated solution side to stop osmosis. Okay. Now, I apply a pressure greater than osmotic pressure. What is osmotic pressure? Osmotic pressure? Pressure required to stop the osmosis. No flow now. Now I further compress. I, I keep on compressing. Osmosis decrease, decrease, decrease. At particular this pressure, osmosis stops. I further compressed. You know what happens? Concentrated solution means there is solvent present. That solvent started to move towards this region. This is called the reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis. What is reverse osmosis? It is the movement of solvent from higher concentration region to lower concentration region region when when a pressure greater than osmotic pressure is applied is applied. When that pressure greater than osmotic pressure is applied. Yes, this is called the reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis has best application 
in water purifier. My dear students, you have seen a lot of water purifiers in your school, in offices, in shops, even your house. You check your water purifier and there will be some, uh, the company name, prices uh, and the features etc. You read that uh, uh, information given the water purifier machine. You will see that there is RO machine, RO machine. What is RO machine? Reverse osmosis. Water purifier widely uses reverse osmosis. Where, where pressure is applied in terms of electrical pressure, okay, electrical, through electro, electrical pressure, uh, uh, they give that. And there is a semi-permeable membrane also. And what happened, you know, uh, therefore, suppose our uh, in water purifier, our tank, you are connected to tank water. You will see that, uh, you will say that our tank water is pure, but still it is a solution, a lot of things are dissolved. A lot of things are dissolved. If when it comes into the machine, uh, when there is a uh, machine part uh, through which uh, there is a semi-permeable membrane, when the water moves that, water moves that, uh, due to the electrical power, there will be a high pressure is given to that water. And because of the high pressure, uh, only pure water is passes through the semi-permeable membrane that will be connected in the tank, uh, pipe. Okay, therefore it is widely used in water purifier. You just check it. Okay, now what is the equation for, what is the equation for determining osmotic pressure? Osmotic pressure is also a colligative property that is pi directly proportional to concentration of the solution or pi directly proportional to number of moles of solute divided by volume of the solution. Colligative property is a property which depends upon number of solute particle or number of moles of solute particle. Look at it here. Therefore, this is equation or pi is equal to CRT or pi is equal to WBRT by V or WBRT by MB that is the number of moles in the V. This is equation for calculating osmotic pressure. Now what is, what is isotonic solution? Isotonic solution. Solution having same osmotic pressure. Solution having same osmotic pressure. Okay. Hypertonic solution. Hypertonic solution. What is that? It is nothing but a solution having solution having having higher osmotic pressure. Having same osmotic pressure and having higher osmotic. Hypertonic. Hypertonic. Then hypotonic. Another one hypotonic. Hypotonic. Hypotonic, that is lower osmotic pressure. Therefore, same osmotic pressure, higher osmotic pressure, and lower osmotic pressure. Okay. Now, I am going to another very important topic. Very important topic. With this topic, theory part of the chapter is over. That is, one of factor. One half of factor I. One half factor I. Okay. I want to check the uh, recording. Uh, there are many occasions where I will uh, take the classes and uh, maybe mobile is out of focus. Therefore, I have to repeat it again. That happened many times. That, that is why periodically I check whether it is recording correct or not. Okay, let us go to this one half factor I. One half factor means, before that, once again, you can discuss the colligative property. Colligative property is a property depends upon, depends upon number of solute particles. Number only. That's a problem. Number only. Yes, imagine.
imagine I take a little H2 to that I had a hundred sodium chloride added. Okay, and then I calculate a colligative property, calculate a colligative property for hundred sodium chloride because I had only hundred sodium chloride. I added under sodium chloride and I got a colligative property that I calculated by mind for 100 sodium chloride. What is colligative property? Property depends upon number of particles. Only. How many sodium chloride I added? Only 100. Okay? Yes. But do you know, after reaching in the water, after reaching in the water, one liter water. This sodium chloride, what happened to the sodium chloride? The sodium chloride completely dissociated into 100 Na plus N, 100 Cl minus in the water. In my spoon, I have only 100 sodium chloride, but after reaching water, scenario entirely changed, totally changed. They dissociated and there is 100 sodium ion, 100 chloride. For water now there are 200 solutes. Okay, it's not sodium chloride. For water there are 200 particles. Therefore the actual colligative property, the actual colligative property, property, okay, is for 200. 200 particles. Therefore, the value I got here, Cp, and the value I got is here, the value, actual value Cp dash, Cp dash, or actual, or uh, Cp actual, this is calculated, are different, which is higher. Cp actual is greater than Cp calculated. Because only only depends upon number of particles. And not only that, Cp actual is equal to 2 times Cp calculated. Because its number is 2 times greater than it is 100, it is 200. Its number is 2, its number is 2 times greater than this number. Therefore, its colligative property is 2 times of this colligative property. Okay, yes. This act phenomena was observed by one Hoff actor. The more one Hoff actor, one of the scientists suggested that before going to do any calculation of colligative properties, you have to you have to take care what is the one Hoff factor. The one Hoff factor is said that. One half factor of this sodium chloride is now the one half factor of this sodium chloride is now two. One half factor of this sodium chloride two. Why? Because one half is said one half factor is equal to total number of total number of particles after association or dissociation. Here dissociation. Similarly, association also happened, I will tell you, divided by total number of particles before association or dissociation. What is that? I, after association or dissociation, it is 200, dissociate 200, before association 100, that is 1. That is just 2. Or I said that, or uh, another equation, one of factor is one of factor i is i just write is another equation he introduced i is equal to one is total number of particles after association or dissociation divided by total number of particles before association or dissociation i is equal to actual colligative property or calculated colligative property what was the calculated colligative property yes that is actual colligative property 2 into 
colligative property calculator divided by colligative property calculator or we, we said that this colligative property actually is two times of the colligative property of calculated yes agree therefore this are the one for factor this is possible in the association also I will tell you the association association yes oh, suppose you are adding 100, 100 acetic acid or benzoic acid in water water a liter water 100 100 separately what do you know uh, that is 100 molecules here you know what happens two molecules joined acetic acid two molecule acetic acid joined like that you have added separate 100 but after reaching the water two joint two joint therefore you will get how many only 50 pairs or benzoic acid to each joint 50 therefore what is the actual number after association 50 before association 100 therefore 1 by 2 or 0.5 therefore here one of factor is 0.5 yes therefore uh, this is all about the one of factor now let us uh, for salt it is very simple you can calculate the value of phi salt value of i after complete complete dissociation after complete dissociation sodium chloride if it completely dissociated 2 AlCl3 4 you got the idea because sodium chloride dissociated as Na plus and Cl minus this is Al plus Al3 plus and 3 Cl minus now Al2 SO4 thrice SO4 thrice therefore 2 Al3 plus 3 SO4 2 minus total 5 okay K2SO4 K2SO4 2K plus SO4 2 minus that is 3 now my dear student in the case of urea glucose sucrose the, in this case no association and dissociation therefore it is 1 benzoic acid and acetic acid association therefore 0.5 Point. In this case, association. This is no association dissociation, therefore, what? That is actually uh, observed or seen. Sorry, actually calculated or seen. Number of molecules after dissociation or before dissociation are seen because there is no association or dissociation. Therefore, our equation, our equation for solving the numericals of colligative property should include the one for factor. Therefore, this is the summary. Uh, students, this is the summary. Each collegiative property, first relative lowering of lowering of vapor pressure, that is delta P divided by P0 is equal to I into XP. Depression in uh, depression in freezing point, that is delta Tf is equal to I into Kf into M. Depression in uh, sorry. Elevation in boiling point delta, delta Tb is equal to I into Kf into M, sorry Kb into M. Osmotic pressure pi is equal to ICRT. Therefore, this equation should be memorized before solving the numericals. And uh, this is the theory part of the chapter. Tomorrow I will solve some numericals based on this equation. Before that, Please watch the video completely, get a full idea and come to the numerical class. Okay, I hope you are safe, you are enjoying well the video classes. Have a nice day. Thank you.